In this video, you are going to learn how to use Twitter. And in particular, I'll show you the five different types of ways you can communicate on Twitter. General tweets, mentions, replies, retweets, and DMs. I'll show you an example of each of those and uh, explain the difference of where those different types of ways to communicate on Twitter appear. So one thing that can be very helpful uh, to understand these differences, and especially if you're new to Twitter for any question, is to click on your profile here and you'll see the option to open up the Twitter Help Center. So if you open this up in a new link, you there's really a ton of information here. Um, if you ever get stuck or have questions, I'd recommend you come in and check this out. And for this video, uh, there is a great article about different types of tweets which really is very helpful to understand these different types of tweets so let's read through this and then i'll give you an example of each so the general tweets a message posted to twitter containing text photos gif or video where does it appear it appears on the sender's profile page and home timeline and who sees it it appears in the home timeline of anybody who's following the sender so let us come into the profile. I'll give you an example of this. Uh, you should see the option here to write your own tweet or at the top right hand corner. So I'm just going to say hello world. Now, Twitter, uh, there used to be a limit of 140 characters. Now that's been increased to 280. So just to be aware for these general tweets, that is the, the limit. And if you want to send that out, then you just click tweet. So this will appear on my profile page and it's also going to appear in the home timeline of anybody who's following me. Right now I have no followers, but if we look at the timeline, it essentially would be, it would appear here for anybody who's following me in their timeline so they could see that. So that is the first type of tweet um, and the first of the five things that we're going to look at. Now second, we have mentions. So um, a tweet containing another Twitter's account preceded by the at symbol is a mention. So for example, if we take this, we can come back to our account. We can uh, click tweet here at the top. We can click hello at supports. We're mentioning an account and we're using their, tw their Twitter profile or handle name. So we can click a tweet and then we can refresh the page. And we can see this mention here. So where does it appear? It appears on our profile page, like we can see here. And then also for the recipient, it appears in their notifications tab, which is accessible by them. So if I was Twitter support, I'd come into my notifications tab and under mentions, I could see anybody who's mentioned me. Uh, right now, nobody's mentioned me on this account, so nothing is showing up. So who else might see this? Well, anybody on Twitter who's following the sender of the mention, that's me, will see it as a tweet in their home timeline. And places it will never appear on anybody's profile page unless they wrote the message. So simply, it's going to appear on my profile page. And also, it's going to appear in the timeline of anybody who's following me. And the recipient is going to get that notification as well. And this is a great way to get the attention of different Twitter accounts and start to connect with them. We'll be talking more about mentions, but it is a fantastic feature. Replies. It's the third of the five types of communication we're going to look at. So a reply is when you respond to another person's tweet. Where it appears for the sender, it appears on our profile page. Where does it appear for the recipient? It's in their notifications tab as well. Like mentions, replies will also appear in the recipient's home timeline if they are following the sender. So if they're following us, they're going to see it in their home timeline um, and also in their notifications tab. So let's have a look at this. If I come into my timeline, we can see a tweet from somebody that we are following. We can uh, really reply to it. So we can say, great article, and hit reply. So once again, this is going to appear in our tweets and replies here on our profile page. So you can see there. 
and it's also going to appear in the timeline of anybody who's following us. So let's move on now. We've also got retweets. Now what we could do is we can see a tweet from somebody that we think is great. If we retweet this, where does this appear? Well, it appears on our profile page and it's going to appear in the timeline of anybody who follows us. So there's actually a separate article on this, retweets. And a retweet is really a reposting of a tweet. And the, the use case is this, that it helps you in others quickly share a tweet with all of your followers. So that's essentially what it is. Where do they appear? You can see tweets by people you follow in your timeline. And um, you'll also see it in your notifications tab. So Charlie here will see in the notification that not only have I commented, um, but also that I've retweeted his article. Now the final way to communicate on Twitter is with direct messages. And once again, you could just type this in to the Twitter Help Center to find out a little bit more about this or get a refresher on it. Here we go. Might have to do it twice like that. So really direct messages are the private side of Twitter. That's a great explanation for it. And you can use direct messages to have private conversations with people about tweets or other content. So direct messages are the most private way to communicate on Twitter. Uh, they won't be seen by either your followers or their followers. So let's have a look at sending one of these. We'll have a look in here in Charlie's account. Usually you'll see the option to direct message somebody right underneath their bio here. And it seems like Charlie has disabled this. So let's just have a look at another example here. You can see that underneath their bio that they have that option to message. And then you can just send somebody a direct message here. And it's only going to be uh, the, the recipient who's really going to see that. And it'll be a private conversation between the two of you. Now this could be great if you want to reach out to people and, and discuss something more private or move on to an email or something like that. So it is another way to communicate on Twitter. Some people will have enabled it, some people not. Sometimes you need to follow the person before you can uh, DM them. Um, or direct message them. So recapping, in this video, what you learned how to do is to send general tweets, mentions, replies, retweets, and direct messages. Those are the five different ways that you can communicate with influencers, potential customers, or existing customers on Twitter. And remember, if you do need a refresher on any of those, you can come into the Twitter Help Center and really have a look at the guides there just to refresh your knowledge.